just like just, when I ask, just when I ask you, Atheist Junior, to defend the non-existence of God, you were completely uh, tongue-tied. You could, you couldn't defend the not God world whatsoever. So that's why God says in the Bible, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Because you're a fool if you say there's no God. And the reason why you're a fool is because you can't instantiate that. Can you please instantiate that the not God world is true, Atheist Junior? Well, if I'm if I'm a fool, I mean, I freely admit I don't have the level of education and philosophy in the relevant terms that you do. Atheist Junior, I, I openly junior, admit that. Did I, ask, did I ask you a question? You you deny the existence of God. Now, can can you instantiate that the not God world is true? Hold on, I need to Google some definitions. Can you defend that the not God world is true? Um. I, I think so, yeah. Okay, go ahead, do it. Well, do are we talking about? Uh, See, I, I don't I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear anything coming out of your mouth right now. With the exception is, I want you to defend that the not God world is true. Go. Okay. Well, I don't see evidence for God or gods. Is that a claim? Yeah, it's a claim. Can, can you defend that claim? Well, I, I don't see how I would. Can you, can, a, you, it's, can, it's, you, can you, can you, can you, listen, stop, no, stop. You're not going to bicker with me like you did previously today, okay? And you're not going to dodge. When I ask you a straightforward, legitimate question, you're not going to dodge, okay? Now, when you say there's no evidence for God, how have you determined that all the facts that you're acquainted with cannot and do not stand in causal relations with God, hence evidence? How did you determine that? None of those facts met my criteria to qualify as evidence of God. Okay, that's a non sequitur. Okay, so therefore, because you're in a state of being unconvinced, it doesn't follow that nothing is evidence from God. That's a non sequitur, what you just said. Now, What's do you recall a non, a non sequitur means it does not logically and necessarily follow. When you when you say nothing is evidence for God, you're gonna you're gonna mean one of two things: either that all the facts that you're acquainted with cannot and do not stand in causal relations to and with God, or that the facts that you are acquainted with are indeterminate. You don't know what their causal origin is. So which do you mean? The second one. Okay, well, it doesn't follow from that that nothing is evidence for God because all you're just simply doing is invoking an autobiographical statement of your own ignorance. And when I say your own ignorance, that's not an insult. Ignorance means you're without knowledge. So all I you're understand. just simply, so what, so what you're saying is God does not and cannot exist because you're in a state of ignorance. Do you realize that's what your position is? I don't oh, did you say so. everybody's in a state Co of ignorance? Coep, Co please be quiet. Atheist Junior, do you realize what you've just stepped into? Your position, and I'm not putting words in your mouth, is that God does not exist. The not God world is true because you're in a state of ignorance. Do you realize that's your position? Yeah. Okay, so that's a non sequitur, okay? So you can't establish that the not God world is true because you're in a mental state of ignorance. It doesn't follow from it that the not God world is true because you're in a state of ignorance. Understood. So you haven't defended the not God world in the least. Now, do you have any other line of reasoning that the not God world is true? I mean, you're the one call you're the one calling yourself an atheist. So how is it that the not God world is true? I uh, I don't want to be a member of any religion. Okay, sir, you're, you see, again, you're doing what you did in the previous converse, in a, uh, conversation. You're just filibustering. You're just rabbit trailing. I want you to explain to me why the not God world is true. I don't want to hear an autobiographical statement, okay? Because whatever your autobiographical statement is, it doesn't follow from that that God doesn't exist. I want you to tell me why there's no God, because that's what atheism means. Atheism means there is no God. So how is because the not God world true? Because it's impossible for God to exist. 
okay, the only way that you can say that it's impossible for God to exist is that you're going to have to tell me what is either ultimate that's not God, therefore meaning God cannot exist himself as ultimate, okay? You are aware that God is defined as being ultimate, right? Do you understand yes. that? Okay, so in order to say that it's not possible for God to exist, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to instantiate what is ultimate or to argue that nothing can be ultimate. Now, can you do either? I don't think so. Okay, good. So that you just made an empty claim that it's not possible for God to exist. It's completely baseless, what you just said. Why it is uh, something needed? Oh, co 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 web, please wait. So do you have any do you have any lines of reasoning why the not God world is true? Because you, you, you do an atheist YouTube channel where you call yourself atheist, you know, on a regular basis. So as an atheist, how do how do you defend that there is no God? How do you do that? So far you haven't done it. Because it's impossible for God to exist yeah, you outside just said of that our reality. You, you, so you, you can't you, exist okay, within that, our that, reality. That, that, that's a that's a that's a childish statement what you just said right there. Okay? When you say outside of our reality, first, first of all, that's an incoherent statement. Reality is a term that is all encompassing. It is the set of all real things. So there can't be anything outside of reality. Everything is all inclusive when you use the word reality, okay? So do you realize you made an incoherent statement? Yes, who created God? Okay, okay. okay. Are, you, are you serious? Are you seriously asking that question? Do I get to ask any questions? Okay. Uh -oh. Do you do you, do you real listen? I'm not trying to throw you under the bus, but this is the kind of question that children ask. Okay. Okay. Let Who me rephrase it. Uh, where did God come from then? That's a, that that's just reformulating the same question. That's a, that's a that's a that's a category error. God, by definition, doesn't come from anywhere. God God Himself is a self-contained being. He's non-derivative. So when you say, where did God come from or who created God, that's a category error. And usually that question comes out of the mouth of children because they're ignorant. Did God create reality? No, reality is an abstraction, sir. So did God, God create the universe? Create? No, God, God only created, God only created uh, concrete things, okay? Reality is an, do you know what the difference between an abstraction and um, something that's concrete? Yeah, I think so. Nope. Okay, so so when you say God created reality, um, it's that's a nonsensical question because rea reality is an abstraction. Okay, abstractions are not created. Abstractions are ways that we conceive of things to get a handle upon the concrete things out there in the world. So, for example, when we talk about the number four, is the number four an abstraction or is it concrete? It's an abstraction. That's 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 correct. Who created the number four? Human beings. No, wrong. God. Who God created? Okay. So the point is, I'm still waiting for you to explain to me. Since you do a regular show calling yourself Atheist Junior, uh, I want you to explain to me how it is that there is no God. So far, you have failed miserably. So how is it that there's no God, Atheist Junior? And why does there need to be a God? Be quiet, circus. Did God create concrete matter? Okay. Uh, Atheist Jr., can you please explain to me why there's no God? You're the because one who does it. You're, wait a minute. You're the matter. one. Okay, boom, please stop. My bad. Sorry. You're the one who does an a, a atheist YouTube show on a regular basis proclaiming your atheism. I want you to explain to me right now why there's no God. Why don't you answer any of my questions? I'll be glad to answer any of your questions, but we're not done with you, sir. I want you to explain to me why there's no God. There just isn't. Based upon what? Based upon my perception. Okay, that's a non- Which I admit to be flawed. I admit it. How is your, how, how, does, how does your perception logically necessitate there's no God? It doesn't, I could be wrong. Okay. Okay. So, 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 in other words, you are just arbitrarily declaring without a rational justification that there is no God. I think it's rational, but yeah, you could say that. Okay. Good. If 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 atheism is rational, give me the rational basis that there is no God. Well, 
there's no evidence for it, so it's rational to come no, to the no, conclusion st- 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 okay, that there is no God. Are, do, do you have short-term memory problems? Yes. Okay, we already went over this. I already dismantled what you said when you claim that there's no evidence for God. You admitted in the conversation that when you state there is just, no evidence just for God. Just ask me the question please, again. Please, just ask please, it again. Please, please. I want you to explain to me why there's no God. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. If, uh, let's see. Uh, because there's too many religions and I can't pick one. Okay. Oh, my that, gosh. That, okay, okay. You, you know, I, how old are you? Uh, I am 27 and a half. You're 27 years old, and you're saying no, stu- I stupid. I lied. Cr- Good. I lied. Yeah. Good. How old are you? I'm not going to tell you my age. I'm not going to give you okay. personal information because you've been okay. very rude. Okay. Wow. Uh, no, I've actually been spot on. Okay. You're an imbecile. You do. You do. A- you do atheist YouTube shows on a regular basis, and yet you cannot explain why there's no God. You keep on saying one stupid thing after another, like who made God. If a child said that, you could you you could pat them on the head and understand because children are ignorant and they're naive and they're uninformed and they they they, they don't understand. But you're think, a grown. Are you a grown man? I think children are a lot more intelligent than are, you. Give are you a, are you a are you a grown man? Yes, Most I am. Are you? If you're a grown man, then you shouldn't be throwing out questions that children ask. Okay. Why don't now, you I act want, like I, one? I want I want you to explain to me why there's no God. He doesn't exist, so there's no God. Okay, that, that's, that is, okay, can you prove that claim? No, I can't. Okay, so why do you demand that God be proven when your claim that God doesn't exist isn't proven? Why do you violate your own rule? I don't demand that he is proven. I just like to have discussions about the topic. No, 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 you insist, do you insist that God be established? You, you, no, you I insist? don't. Oh, okay. Re- 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 really? You did earlier today. You told you asked me to prove God's existence. Don't you remember? Only because I thought it was uh, only okay, fair yeah, okay, for you. Okay, yeah, you're you're done. Yeah, yeah. You you have the mind of a child, and I'm sorry to say that as an adult, you have the mind of a child. Okay, so 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 we're done, sir. You're you're a waste of time talking to. You. You're just another fool of an atheist on YouTube. Okay. You've been totally routed. You all, all you atheists do is spew out these these stupid cliches. There's no evidence for God. <laughs> Good. Can you defend that? No, you can't. You cannot defend the statement there is no evidence for God. And then when I ask you to defend it, you admitted that that's just a statement of ignorance.